who later became Ina May's husband, was forming a major part of the countercultural revolution in the United States, teaching Monday night class in San Francisco. It was in quest of that better life that 400 people set off with Stephen and Ina May in a caravan of buses. midwives to attend the growing number of women that were coming to their community. And it was Ina May and the farm midwives who suggested that sexuality was an important part of birth. I'm, I'm very much thrilled to honor her here tonight as a Dutch midwife. How grateful and how what a great honor I feel it is.